Hey, Steve Anthony again, RMI Laser. Just want to go ahead and create a video real quick to show you exactly how this process works. Um, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with what I found right now as far as my settings go. I went ahead and did Sarah right here on the very bottom. I did five passes on that. And it's a pretty nice surface mark. It's not the deep engraving like you can feel on these other test marks right here. But uh, that looks really remarkable. So let me go ahead and explain how the software works real quickly. Basically, what you do is you go ahead and take any text that you want by taking this box, clicking it right here, double click on that box. Excuse me, you weren't able to see that, so I'll delete it. Um, this box here, which says linear text, click anywhere on the actual screen itself, double click to get into it, and then this is where you go ahead and put what you want, S-A-R-A-H, so Sarah. Down here is how you can actually change the font style. So what I do is I just click on it once, and then I just use my down arrow on my keyboard here to you know cycle through the different various types of text. Once I have a text that I actually like, then I just hit apply. And while I'm in the screen too, you can actually adjust the size of it as well. But what I like to do is just kind of go apply, hit OK. Gotta check this first mark. Control T to center it. What I like to do is just drag the corner down to resize it as well. So there you have it. And then if you go back into it by double clicking, it'll actually tell you the size in which was used. So pretty cool stuff. Very simple as far as how to get the text up. Once you get what you want, go ahead and adjust your settings. So this is where, again, speed, power, step size, and pulses, along with passes, are gonna make a difference. So what I did was I actually have this one created that I like set up already so I'm gonna unclick it click on it click on this text what happens next is you actually hit positioning it will then bring up the red indicator light that you see here once you have that red indicator light you just simply go ahead and position where you want that mark to go and I'm just gonna do it right above that other Sarah that I just did so you're able to see again the whole process so once I know that that's where I want my mark to actually go I just simply come over to here and hit engrave and watch the magic As you see, it's marking, it's darkening in color, and that's why I chose to do multiple passes. Not only that, but I kept the power real low in order for it to have a nice, clean surface mark rather than that deep, deep engraving. Like, I can feel the mark, but not really. And then if I actually went over to this other test mark up here, you can actually feel like it's a rough surface. So that's why I want to clarify in that email exactly what type of mark you're looking for to where it's nice and smooth or to where you can actually feel it. So let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.